Hello everybody, welcome back to another video where we're going to be looking at HSTWB Installer. So as promised, uh, this is part two of a series and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be installing Amiga OS 3.2 and also looking at the WHD load game packs that you can combine and put into your image. So uh, download WinUAE if you haven't done already and as well go to the HSTWB installer, go to downloads and today I am downloading the pre-built self install image. So today we're gonna be using the eight gig version you can use obviously larger images if you want, but I'm just gonna use eight gig because that's convenient for me. So let's have a look and see what we've got already. So let's go to my downloads folder. So uh, we can get rid of that zip file. So what have we got here? So I've got WinUAE folder and in here we've got a basic fresh install of WinUAE. I've, I have loaded it up and I've made sure that um, I'm pointing to my ROMs folder and things like that. So we've got WinUAE. Next thing, I've got my OS 3.2 ROMs. I've got the ADF files with all the installs. You can get this off of the CD when you purchase it, uh, the ROM files. And then I've also downloaded the update to it, which is 3.2.1. And you can get that off of the Hyperion website. So we've got all of that. Next thing um, is the EAB WHD load pack downloader. Now I've done a video on this previously, so go and check that out if you don't know what this is. And basically in here is all of the WHD load games that I've chosen to uh, download. Finally, we get on to HSTWB itself. So I've extracted that into a folder. So what are we going to do first? So as you see, we've got the HSTWB uh, image setup command there. We're not going to run it quite yet because we need to copy some stuff over into these folders up here. So let's, uh, let's make things a little bit easier and let's open up another folder. Right, so let's make things a little bit more convenient. So I've got my HSTWB folder on the right here and I've just got my download folder over here. So let's start off at the top, Amiga OS. Um, I need to copy over Amiga OS 3.2 ROMs. So the readme in here explains exactly what you need to copy. So just read that. So OS 3.2, ADF files. I'm going to copy all of those into there like so. So that's done. 3.2.1. So let's go back one. There's our update 3.2.1 and I'm gonna copy everything in the ADF folder of that into here as well. Okay, so that's all done, so 3.2 and 3.2.1. Next is the kickstarts. So what we need to do is we've got a whole bunch of kickstarts to copy over. So let's go back to my downloads. In my kickstarts, these are all my Kalanto Amiga Forever ROMs that you get. So these include your 1.3, 2 and 3.1 ROMs. Okay, let's copy those all over. Next I'm going to go to my OS 3.2 again. I'm going to go to my update 3.2.1. Go into the ROMs of that and then I'm going to copy over uh, the a1200.rom uh, and the CD TV one or a500.rom. So make sure that they end in .rom. You don't need the BIM files. And let's copy that over. There we go into the Kickstarts folder. So I haven't copied over the original 3.2 ROM because um, I don't really see that as being required. Uh, the 3.2.1 ROM, the updated version, is adequate enough. So next uh, we need to copy over is in the user packages. So let's go back to our HSTB WB package. Let's go to user packages. And what we're looking for is the folder Kickstart ROMs. And then in Kickstarts. And what we need to quickly do is go to our Kickstarts folder, copy everything from Kalanto, 
and paste it into there. Okay, so it should look like that. Let's go back a couple of steps back to our user packages again. And then we're going to be looking for the WHD download packs. So in here, uh, we basically need to build up our library of games. So let's go to the EAB WHD load pack downloader. Go to the downloads folder because I've already downloaded my set of games. I've only downloaded um, the games, but you can do demos and a whole ton of other stuff. So what I'm going to do within this folder where you've got all of the alphabet, do control A, so you've selected them all, control C, and then let's go into the EAB WHD load games folder here, and then paste. Wait for it all to transfer. This can take up quite a bit of space. Okay, and that's all done. So you basically got all the folders with the alphabet inside of this folder, EAB WHD load games. And basically you've got to match it up. So if this folder says games at the end, it goes into the games folder. Simple as that. If you downloaded all the demos, you put it into the de uh, demos. Simple enough. So uh, the next thing we need to do now is we need to run a script. And this is the build entries. If I double click on this, what you'll see is it's now finding all of the games that I've got installed. So 2,508 entries have been found. It's now building up the install entries. And there we go, it's done, excellent. Okay, so that's one script that you do have to run before running the main HSTWB package. So make sure you've done that one first. We've done that now, excellent. Let's go back to user packages. Let's go back again. Now, what we need to do is we need to run the HSTWB image setup. So let's double click that and run that. That goes through and does a whole load of checks and everything and detects what we've got. And it sets up our HSTWB uh, WinUAE config, which you should find right at the bottom. So with all that done now, we're going to get on to actually setting up our hard drive now. So let's go into our WinUAE folder and then let's load up WinUAE. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the A1200 setup that's in this folder, drag it across. This should have all loaded it up. So yeah, the configs all changed. And just to double check, yeah, all the folders have been set up as well. So we're pretty much ready to go. So if I click on start, We'll just wait for the Amiga to boot up and then we'll get into the setup process. So uh, we just hit continue and hit enter to continue again. It's now good to detect what uh, ROMs we've got installed. So we'll just wait for that to finish. It's detected that we've got Workbench 3.2 ADF. Brilliant, okay, and press enter. Self-install review, yep, 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 and to continue. This is showing all the packages that are available. So we just say continue. Uh, we do a MD5 only uh, check. And we just wait for it to check the 3.2 ADFs. There we go, and then it says, what do you want to do? Well, we want to install Amiga OS 3.2. Now the next bit, it can look a little bit confusing and this might be uh, basically saying, okay, do you want to install the, uh, the modules disc? Now with 3.2, there's a module disc that um, comes with each pack. And if you haven't, if you're putting this into a real Amiga and you haven't swapped over the physical chips and put in a 3.2.1 ROM chip inside your Amiga, you're going to need this. So um, I'm going to be using emulation in this example. So I'm just going to skip installing the modules. But if you're putting this, intend to put this into real hardware, then just basically say what model Amiga you're going to be putting it into. So let's skip. 
uh, can be do, 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 do. do you want to skip yes I'm really sure okay and then it's detected that we've got some other kickstart ROMs do I want to install the kick ROM files yes we do this is important for WHD load so yes install those yes install Okay, it's detected some user packages. This is just listing what user packages we've got. We don't select them just yet. So let's continue. Do you want to continue? Yes, I do. And then we're ready for the installation process. And so this is basically saying this is our last chance. All the questions that you've asked, are you sure you want to continue? Yes, I do. So I press enter. And then Amiga OS 3.2 comes with some uh, colorful and professional designed icon set, glow icons. Do you want to use these glow icons? Um, this pre uh, personal preference, if you want to use them or not. In this occasion, I'm actually going to choose no and see what the originals look like. So there we go. We're waiting for all the disks to be installed. This is copying over all the locale uh, differences. There we go, and now it's installing the 3.2.1 ADFs now over the top. So it's doing the upgrade for us. There we go, installation is complete. So we press enter to continue. It's now going to install these kick ROM files for us. There we go, that's done. And now the system will reboot in 10 seconds. So I'll see you after the reboot. So the machine has rebooted and now it's asking us to select some packages that we want. For the moment, I'm not going to use Better Workbench or anything like that at all. We're just going to skip all of these package installations and we're going to move on to the next lot. So now we're under the user package installation. So we've got a few selections here. So uh, first off, I want to make sure that we've got our kickstart ROMs installed for WHD load. I'm going to put in sysinfo. I'm going to put in archivers and unarchivers because that's always handy. Directory opus is always handy as well. And then the important one down here, WHD load packs. This is going to be installing all of those games for us. And as well, we might as well get the latest version of WHD load, which is 18.7. So there we go, those are the things that I've selected. Let's go up to the top and do start user package installation. Six user packages are going to be installed, yes. So these are the archivers, LHA, what version do I want? Well, let's just go with all the defaults. And then we'll go for the defaults there. And then it's detected five kickstart ROMs. Yeah, make sure those are installed. Yes. Now, what this is going to be doing is installing uh, the WHD load pack. So let's press enter to continue. Uh, it's not detected any magazines. It's not detected any games beta. Now let's press enter. And here we go, WHD load games. So it's detected uh, all the OCS games that I've downloaded. It's detected that pretty much I've selected all English ones. So these are all going to be installed. So we choose the option to do install all entries and then start entries installation. Do you want to start? So it's going to be transferring over 2,508 games. Yes, I'm sure. And then we then watch this transfer and this can take some time. So see you in a moment. Grab a coffee. And there we go. All the games are now installed. That took approximately just over two hours. So quite a considerable amount of time. But as there are over 2000 games to install, um, just a word of warning. So next what we're going to do is install WHD load 18.7 and this nicely asks us what uh, key we want for the quick key so I'm going to choose F10 
and then let's continue. And then we're pretty much done. So if I press enter to continue and then we're gonna wait 10 seconds and see you on the other side of the reboot. And there we go, our system is all installed. So we're running the latest version of Workbench 3.2.1. Um, as you can see, we've still got some uh, folders left over uh, from the setup, but we've got directory opus installed, which all works. Uh, we've got sysinfo as well. But if we go into our works folder, we can see that it's using 3.2 gig. Um, that's all because we've got our WHD load games in here. So if we go into games, all in nice neat folders. So if we just pick a random game, like um, if we go to B's, you can see all the folders are in there. So they've all been unarchived. Let's tidy that up a bit. There we go. And you can see there's loads of games in here. Uh, let's pick a random one, uh, burning rubber, got the artwork for it, double click on it. And as you can see, we're running 18.7 latest version, F10 is our quick key. And then if we choose start, there we go, our game's running. So if I press F10 to quit, yeah, I can get back out of the game. And yeah, this is a nice 3.2 workbench setup. So now what you can do is you can transfer this hard drive file. If I go back all the way to that HSTWB folder, um, this 8GB file is our hard drive file. So we can use that in emulation or you can burn that to an SD card and then put it into a real Amiga. If you want to see any more videos like this, please let me know in the comments below and thank you for watching.